My name is Burnell Washburn. When I heard hip hop music, for some reason, that mental block wasn't there. I just thought I could do it. I want to express my truest, rawest emotions. Just how they come to my mind, how I feel about them in the moment. I only have this one life to live and I, I want to make a difference. I want to do something monumental. I want to get away from the norm and express myself and express like my abilities and my creativities and flourish. It's really tough as an artist to like keep yourself satisfied with the craft that you're making because you're, you're looking up to these great artists that you're inspired by and you just want so badly to create something as good as what they do that moves people in a way that their music moved you. Just how I feel in that moment is important to me. Making something that I'm gonna always be satisfied with, like I don't care, like if it's how I felt at one moment, like I want that to come out and be raw. I want that emotion to be felt, like you know that I felt it when I wrote that. One of my hits lately, it's sort of a funny song. Lobster and filet mignon, champagne and chronic to the break of dawn. Five star tennis and private jets. In the world and my I'm talking about all these things that I don't necessarily have, like how I'm like a baller, and but it's you know it's a lot of humor behind it. I hope people don't hear it and think that I'm like serious now, that I'm like trying to be some baller and brag about being rich or something like that. Stretch. Feel the joy and pain, full blown wicked winds over oceans and plains. Rest, let the stress go away, make it hurt so great that we go today. Come on, stretch. Feel the joy. Hip hop roots started out in Las Vegas about five years ago, and since then it's spread to six different cities. And Salt Lake is the one that your crew came and filmed at the Salt House with Abstract Root. That was Hip Hop Roots Month Seven for us up here. And we do it every month in Salt Lake and every week down in Vegas. And it's just a nice community event where the community can get together and thrive in the whole aspect, every aspect of hip hop culture, you know, b-boying, graffiti, DJ and MC and all of that coming together with the community to enjoy events every month and every week. And uh, hopefully we'll have it in every major city across the globe in the next few years. Out of the fact that my music was taking off, and I had lots of friends and people around me that wanted to be involved in my music and wanted to be a part of this movement that was going on. With all these photographers, all these graphic designers, these skateboarders, these snowboarders, these musicians, all these rappers and MCs and poets. And so it just kind of hit me one day, like, we should have a super company that just basically does it all. It's like, how would you think of the name Wasatch Renaissance? It just hit me. Fatty is the lead art director for our live events and the live painting. His style of artwork is very, very unique. It's influenced by different types of street art. He does really cool, spacey, crazy backgrounds. He uses like lots of different bright colors and Parley's the head honcho. Handles all of our financial stuff as well as our contracts and legal documents and things to do with the man and the bank and the taxes. He's really good at that. He has a knack for business. Mike, I call him Bloomer, Bob Bloomer. His real name is Mike Pisa. Um, he's our sound engineer, studio guy, tech head. He brought back a lot of the structure that he was working with in LA at that nice studio and brought it back into Wasatch Renaissance to make us operate on a higher level and more professional and teaser is the creator of SNUB. SNUB stands for Supporting and Nurturing Underground Behaviors. And it's basically a clothing and lifestyle company. Make hats and t-shirts and a bunch of stuff like that. And he's kind of our main, he's the heart and soul of Wasatch Renaissance in a way. The stretch. Um, I started doing that a couple years ago. Everybody in here, let's get nice and loose. Almost can't do a show without doing that now. You gotta make the noise while you're stretching too or else it doesn't work. Like, ugh. Ugh. Salt Lake City, Utah, my favorite place in the world. Are we feeling loose? Everybody come stretch with me and let's get those arms. And, oh, you gotta make the noise with it. Like, ugh. And like, 
do all that stuff and it just it's really fun for the crowd makes them feel like they're a part of it and usually right after I do that song is when I have their attention the most right before I go on the stage there's like always some crazy feelings of like anxiety nervousness am I gonna do well is something gonna go wrong what I do right before I go on is just try to focus on breathing and centering my chi and just getting that balance and tuning out everything else and trying to just be in my performance 100% and tell myself that I'm going to get on stage and rock it and have a great time with these people. Tape taught me how to take falls, taught me how to shift weight, wait for the inversion to dissipate, reciprocate mentalities in life now to get us right and just away, dropping into where I want to be, visions play tape, copping more than just the chronic leaps, honestly, it's nothing that we can't do, freeze the frame of mind and line and now we make that true, it's like a simile. There's definitely some times where I felt like just giving up or feel like I wasn't good enough to be at the level I'm at. When I look at it from a fresh perspective, it just inspires me and motivates me to work harder and progress with it. And I'm touched by the power to jump. I must get him to jump. I'll give him something to bump. You want the funk? Bring it on your feet again. And you can breathe again to the earth for your feet sinking in. You're a tree again. You can see again, even in the evening wind. You're holding wisdom over rhythms. And you know that they feel it when the moment hits them. And I'm touched by the power to jump. I must get him to jump. I'll give him something to bump. You want the funk? Bring it. I'm touched by the power to jump. I must get him to jump. I'll give him something to bump. You want the funk? Bring it.